Greetings all praising King King Silasi Ja Rastafari Glad Tidings and This time I and I must come together to form a perfect union. Salasi, our Lord, is our foundation. The Babylon is destroying itself. Christ spoke about the house being divided and not able to stand. The Christ referring to the Babylonian system. Many of the enemies of the Christ are tribal figures originating from the peoples known as Babylonians. These peoples have chosen to not follow in the way of Lord in that they have devised their own system of laws to suit their desires. And a system such as this could only be classified as anarchy because when a foundation is laid then how shall the house be moved? The house resting upon this foundation and depending on this foundation for security Our law has stood and will continue to stand although the Babylon will fall. Psalm 18, I have kept the ways of Lord and have not wickedly departed from I Creator all Lord judgments before I I did not put away Lord statutes from I so these judgments are the law the ancient order given to the faithful This is what the Babylon despises because according to our law, the Babylon is guilty. Take notice. You have an uneasy State, whereas the Babylon is losing control over its constituents, which make up the multitude of servants that are necessary for the Babylonian kings to rule. This system is often referred to as democracy. Now, the word democracy really in this context has no formal definition. That this way is interpreted generally to mean for the people 
by the people. In other words, majority rule. However, I, I believe most people know better that those that have power rule over others. That their voice or vote is counted as more worthy within this system of government. Now, it is important to distinguish it as this system and not our system. It is their system that I and I have not signed up for. Neither will I and I sign up for. Now Rastafari has a quote saying, what is democracy? What progress has democracy brought? Has it made people more kinder? And so, first and foremost, people must examine the word itself and what does it actually mean. Now, in the Babylonian law, democracy has no meaning. There is no legal definition. If you are to walk into a courtroom and use the word democracy, essentially it will be voided because there is no legal definition. This is done so that it can be interpreted in any number of ways. Now this word has been branded to be sacred in and is an antonym, a word such as cult has not been branded to be sacred, even though the word cult itself signifies a group of individuals that have formed a union for sacred purposes to observe religious practices. So certain words have been branded or have a certain vibe, you know, or interpretation or perception from others. And this is not necessarily based on what the actual definitions are, but how those words have been used to implement an endorsement within the thoughts of others. And in this way, certain words have come to have negative perceptions. And these are the words that the Babylon is taking people away from and bringing people to their words that have more of a clean vibration. And so this word democracy actually stands for common law as well as civil law. In matter of fact, it seems to stand for any law of the Babylonians because again, it has a positive vibration to it that people love to hear the word. For some reason, people believe that it is empowering them that people have believed that if there is a system other than democracy, then somehow they're going to lose rights. Well, what rights has this common law system actually brought people? Most often, the, the Constitution of the United States is referred to when speaking of this term, democracy. Now, what rights does the Constitution of the United States award the citizens of the United States? None. 
and that's because it is not meant to award people with rights, yet rather protections. And however, how have these protections held up? You have the Fourth Amendment, which is a guarantee of protection against an invasion of privacy. If someone crawls through my window, I am awarded a protection to call the police and the police with the taxpayer money will come and investigate and perhaps rid the, uh, the burglar. Um, however, this burglary is being done now so that others are not aware and it's being done through the digital infrastructure that if you go and look around you'll see a lot of people are doing this thing walking around like this driving around like this and what are they doing other than giving the Babylon their information about their every moves, about their every actions, and even about their thoughts. Now, it's difficult to explain this to people because they are worshiping this image of the beast. And so, as anything, if you are worshiping a god, then you are feeling insulted and offended when someone speaks against this deity. Yet, this is the case that the worshiping is done when everything else is being ignored except for the image of the beast. And the serving of the beast is done by inputting the information because it's being gathered and it's being used for a purpose. Now this is not anything new. Most people realize this. Yet what's new is that it's being done right under our noses and yet no one seems to care. It would be hard to assume that if this practice was conducted only a decade or so ago that it would be so easily dismissed. However, there has been much effort to program people through the digital infrastructure into believing that there are imminent threats and that this must be done for everyone's safety and, and, and because of the the uh, the magnitude of the threats that it it has to be done in secret. Of course, it's been exposed. But as I recall, those that were doing the exposing were considered conspiracy theorists until uh, one of the agents of the CIA came out 